What's up everybody? Today we're going to be checking out another Darman video. Girl in hijab kicked off plane seat. Now this is some discrimination right here, man. It's like we're living in the 21st century and for for this stuff to still continue, I just feel like we're in a failed society. But let's check this out, man. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get this. Ah, look at us. <laughs> I can't believe we're flying together to nationals. Oh no, okay, Karen. Relax, this Karen like bitch is gonna say something. Olympics. Plus, this is just the first round. Hi, first up Sacramento, next up Paris, 2024. Yes, that's the kind of energy we need. Um, hey, oh, looks like I'm right here. Hi, I'm Sahar. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hadithi Ashtini, Sahar. I'm late. Is that Arabic? Yeah, we made it. Um, excuse me. You can't be talking on your phone on an airplane. Oh, the plane never I, even took know, off. I'm sorry, but it's my mom, and she gets a little nervous about me flying. Flight attendant? Flight attendant! I'll, I'll Bro, she's that. not making any bombs. Chill. Can I help you? She's on her phone. <laughs> oh, no. I, I Bro, I'm just sure she's off, just doing some like racist shit. Up. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate that. Wait a minute. Are there any other seats on the plane? I want to move. Is there a problem? I don't feel comfortable sitting here. Bro, if she was gonna kaboom the plane, <laughs> you wouldn't be safe regardless no, no, where you no, sit. No. And she's not gonna do that. I don't There's something called checking. Sitting next to her. And if we don't resolve this issue, we're gonna have a problem. What did she even hey, do? Sir. Do you wanna switch seats with me? Thanks, Anna. Man, I hate these Karens. They're just fucking racist. Do you still need to switch your seat? Sorry about that. I have a 4.0 GPA. I'm so nice to everyone I meet, and I'm about to run track at nationals. And bro, that's just that's just a bitch, bro. Don't worry Not about her. Everyone. Just some people. Don't let her get to you. I'm not I'm used to it. Besides, I'm not gonna let anything get me down because we have a race to win. <laughs> I can't believe you have a Thomas Jefferson biography. <laughs> no wonder you're so smart. I'll be playing Sudoku and listening to Doja Cat. <laughs> Listens to Doja Cat. Wow, okay. Wow, that's impressive. I mean, even though I can run much faster, Still impressive. I can't believe we won! <laughs> We're going on to the next round! Uh, excuse me, coach, can we have a word? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, what's going on? Oh. Do you have any sort of written approval that allows her to wear her, you know? Written approval? What are you talking about? That's her about? religious uh, practice so how wearing that. Hijab at every race. I don't understand what the big issue is. Well, it may not be a problem for states, but this is nationals. Unauthorized articles of clothing need to be approved before the race. That's protocol. <laughs> According yeah, to Yeah, this who? is basic According human rights. You get to believe what... Rule book. What? Why should it matter? She came in first. She's the winner. Just call it. Look, I can, I can just put the form out right now and I can, I can... Sorry. Without a written authorization before the race, technically, Sahar broke the rules, so... She's disqualified. We are awarding Abigail Stevens from Concord High School first place, and she'll go into the second round next week. That is what? That's fair. Fair. This fair. is fair. ridiculous. Fair. We don't make the rules, all right? Look, if you have a problem, take it up with the Cross Country Commission. We're sorry. Nah, There's I ain't gonna lie. This do. is this is fucked up. So, so yeah, I would probably race. run away too if Guys, someone said that to me. I totally knew that we were going to win nationals. <laughs> now the real competition begins. Oh, look who it is. Miss Disqualified. She's I better than you. Back there, fair and square. They disqualified me for no reason. No reason? 
Come on. You didn't follow the rules. You easily could have taken that thing off. My hijab is part of my religion. It represents privacy. It's, and it's and not, yeah, and it's not affecting the race. Take it off is so disrespectful. Okay, well, no offense, but it makes you look like a terrorist. I mean, thank God that no one could come to this race because you would have scared everyone off. <laughs> That's so fucking messed up. Hey, you okay? Regardless of what happened, everyone knows you won that race. That's what matters. So please don't let this discourage you. The last thing I'm feeling is discouraged, Beth. I can't let Abigail win. You heard what the official said. Unless you take it up to the commission. Well, it's a good thing we're in Sacramento because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I looked it up. It's not too far from here. Yeah, you're, you're gonna win the case. Are you sure it's worth it? I mean, rules are rules. Yeah, well... It's like Thomas Jefferson. And plus, said, new rules can be formed all of a sudden. Not only do we not have to follow them, but we have an obligation to fix them. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna fix it. There's ain't no way. Then they told me I was disqualified, all for wearing my hijab. Technically, you were disqualified because you failed to fill out the approval report prior to the race. Well, that's not fair. Because nobody else has to do it. And they don't get disqualified for them. Like that cross you're wearing. What if you had to get permission every time you wanted to wear it? Or that Star of David on your finger. What if you had to fill out a form every time you wanted to put it on? She has a point. And that's a kuda, right? That's a religious symbol. Imagine getting disqualified from a sport just because you didn't want to take that off. Oh, I never take this off. Not even in the shower. Exactly. Yeah. Please, put yourself in my shoes. I read the regulations and they only apply to garments, which doesn't make sense because they should apply to all religious symbols or none. Mas Yusuf, we totally feel for you, we do. And we understand that you're upset, but the rules must be followed. This could be avoided in the future if you just followed the protocol. It really comes down to unauthorized racing attire. If an article of clothing could possibly give you an unfair advantage, then you we think my what? job gives me an advantage. What? If anything, it gives you a disadvantage. Fun of, discriminated against every day, just because of my beliefs. And it can fall off too. You know how it gives you. It's unfair. Feel? Having to race through that. I don't see how that gives me an advantage. We must follow the regulations, Miss Yusef. Do you? Or is that just easier than changing the regulations? She has okay, a point. So hard. Come on, let's go. And people won't get it because there's a really. I uh, still can't believe they didn't do it. There's a really low population so of Muslims in you tried your America. Best. You should be proud of yourself for that. What do you mean? I'm not giving up. They made it pretty clear they're not changing the rules. Okay, I hate to ask this. What if, if not filling out the form? Not that. What if you, I don't know, took it off? Kate, it's just a question. That's disrespectful. Let me ask you something. What if Rosa Parks just gave in and went and sat at the back of the bus? That certainly would have made things a lot easier. Civil rights would have probably taken a lot longer to move forward. Right? Or what if Gandhi just gave into the government mm -hmm. and stopped fighting for what he believed in? It probably would have taken India a lot longer to gain their freedom. Or what if Ibtaha Muhammad, the Muslim girl who wore her hijab at the Olympics? Don't know who that is. What if she just gave in and took it off when they told her she shouldn't wear it? She wouldn't have changed history. All these heroes stood up for what they believed in and didn't give even with a little resistance. So neither can I. I know, Sahar, but yeah. what else can you do? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, but I will. Hey, Sahara. We heard about what happened at your track meet. That's so messed up. Sorry that happened. Thank you. Did someone at school tell you guys? No, we saw it on TikTok. Oh, she's on TikTok. Oh my gosh, I didn't know there was a video. It's gonna blow up. Yeah. It's got a pretty good amount of views. Seems like a lot of people are supporting you. Anyway, sorry they had to go through all that. Good luck. Thanks. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Wait, Sahar, your food. 
Where do you yeah, eat your beef burgers. Going? If I had to guess, to make history. Just like those other heroes. Sahar is now more motivated than ever to get the rules changed. When she gets home, she records a video of herself explaining what happened. She talks about the rule book and how it only affects runners who wear religious garments, not any other religious object. It's gonna go on the Before news long, definitely. Sahara's video ends up going viral. It gets millions of views and thousands of comments. She even gets support from Muslim athletes around the world. Even the local media protesting starts to too? pick up the story Damn. as people everywhere start protesting. I knew it. It was going to go to the news. Sahar is so surprised about all the traction she's getting. But what she's more surprised by is what happens next. What are you watching? She's on Instagram now. Nothing. Okay, well, instead of watching videos, can you focus on the race? We have to win nationals. I'm sorry, girls. I'm afraid I have some bad news. She won. Bad news? What are you talking about? No way. Okay, she's finally gonna get what she deserves. Hey, coach, what's up? Hey, Sahar, what are you doing right now? I'm uh, just typing up an essay for school. Why? Well, pack your bags because we're hopping on the flight. You gotta race tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. What? But we lost the race. I got disqualified. I just got off the phone with the cross country committee. They overturned your disqualification, which means we got first place and we're going to the next round. Oh my God! That's just so, so good. I can wear yes, my... you or any other high school runner in the country never have to worry about racing in our job again. The committee removed it from the handbook. Oh, thank you so much, Coach. This is all so exciting. Don't thank me. You did this all on your own. I'm proud of you. Now get to the airport. Ma, I'm racing today. I need a ride. Meet the runner that's changing high school cross country. This is so crazy. I can't believe we're going to the second round of nationals. <laughs> What'd you say to me? Relax, Anna. It's not like we're going to the Olympics. Okay, okay, you're right. But now I'm excited, especially since it's taken such a roller coaster to get here. Do you think we're gonna win, Sahar? Honestly, it kind of feels like we already have. No, I do not feel comfortable with you sitting next to me. Bro. I understand. This is my seat. Mm -mm. Why don't you- Excuse me. I Fucking racist people. Seat. You could sit here if you'd like. Yes, please. I don't understand these people. Like, you're not doing anything wrong by wearing something. Thanks. Appreciate it. No worries. I know what it's like. I'm Sahar. It's nice to meet you. Baljeet. Nice to meet you too. I wish we had a law against letting people like that fly on a plane. It's bad enough I get sourced every time when I go through security. You do? So do I. And they always say those screenings are random. <laughs> random. My ass. What do you think she's up to? Whatever it is, I'm sure she's going to change the world. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, okay, but that was a really good episode. Girl in hijab kicked off plain seat. Well, that taught all of us something, you know. Uh, you gotta, like, uh, make history, right? You can make a change to shitty rules in life. But that is it for the video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.